Let me at him! Ho, ho, ho! Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to a special Christmas 4 vs. 4. Arr, arr. <laughs> I certainly can't be doing that voice all the way through this game. Oh, Santa! This is my indoor voice, and that's what I'll be using for this game. Oh, dear. That's just, I'm gonna have a very sore voice if I end up doing that all the way through. Ah, oh, hello boys and girls, it's Christmas, yay! And, um, welcome to what will be a very special Christmas game, and it's very difficult for me to talk because this freaking thing is going all up inside of my mouth, and not in a good way. Did someone say wood? No, not yet. Right, where are we? <laughs> um, Michael Todd, I'll do the I'll do the uh, Father Christmas voice for this little sentence because it don't take much, and you can see the accent coming through. But I haven't quite crushed my focal cord yet to get the rest of the center in there. Get ready for it. Oh, actually, ar yar. Let's do um. <laughs> there's the pirate. Ar yar. Let's do a little bit of um a shop. The uh, hero's going to be interesting. It's not going to get me off to a good start on this map, at least, to say the least. But if I have enough militia, then maybe I can carry through. Um, my old Tard says, Wee's Christmas special strategy. <laughs> Mountain King as center. Narga Sea Bitch as Mrs. Claus or Dark Ranger. But I'm going with uh, the Narga Sea Batch. An arcane sanctum for elves. Then lastly, Griffins as reindeer. <laughs> so I'm up for that. So let's uh, start off with our Mountain King. Looks like it's going to be Mountain King, Naga Sea Bitch, Fast Tech. So Tech won't take too long. Arcane Sanctum. And then Griffins later on, if I can do that. We'll see how this game goes, though. Allies seem at least somewhat competent, so no huge issues there thus far. I wonder if I could do the Orange Creek Camp. Almost definitely. In fact, I'm just going to take a whole ton of peons. Just to really nail it. Hey, you guys are doing the job right. There we go. Let's tech up in a second. Ah, oh, Stormbolt. Bring down the big lad first. Don't want him getting away with too much moida. Careful of the... Uh, Little uh, frisky <laughs> militia getting a bit crushed here. Okay, that's why I've got a healing scroll, by the way, because what I can do is I can really abuse the militia. Try to. Shit, I'm going to lose one. There's no way to avoid that. His attacks were just too quick. Hey. Right, let's heal you guys up, pull you back, and then what I'll do is I'll take a subtle few to do this green camp. And then later on, I'll go and do that orange camp. Maybe. Maybe. Because that's going to be really difficult to pull off that orange camp. Who's going to get bloodlusted first? Okay, it's you. Let's kill you first then. You guys are going to come back and heal. Uh, lumber mill, lumber mill, lumber mill. I suppose it could go anywhere, really. Down here it seems like a better spot, actually. Yeah, the damage is a little bit mixed up here, isn't it? That's okay. Fast expansion. Yeah, not for me necessarily. I wouldn't mind an expansion, but my militia won't make it there in time. So these guys have healed up now. So part of what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a lot of militia, like a stupid amount, I think, to be able to do this. Because I honestly think this could get really ugly. Might even take some from the gold mine. That's how many I think I'm going to need here. What is it? This I'm going to have to nuke them, nuke them down so fast, like crazy fast. And I'm going to have to use that storm bolt straight away. Wish me the best of luck. I've not really tried this before. This is just going to be a nuke fest. This guy's clever, by the way. He goes for the best ones first. Hey! Coming in to steal my experience, are you? Oh, well, you can enjoy some mana burns, then. 
Uh, this wasn't too bad, actually. You just got to get the big guy down. And he always goes for the... Because he's a high-level creep. Yeah, we'll leave him you there. I suppose it would be handy to have him there now. Okay, pull you back. You can go into the gold mine, because I know I need that. We'll get ourselves a shredder. Because that will help. And then I can get the wood that I've missed out from using my militia. So it's all coming to plan. Finish off the lumber mill. Because that's key. And then use a level 1 Mountain King strategy on a level 3 Mountain King. I hope you guys can hear me clearly because <laughs> it's pretty hard, as you can see, to talk. Right, so that's getting done. We're going to start chopping away at that tree. And we're just going to heal up the Mountain King a little bit more, actually. And get some more items because I'll be following these guys. I'll heal them up as well at the same time. Now, I actually probably want to get a tech and um, get the Naga Sea Bitch as well. Mountain King's kind of slow when you haven't got a... Uh, well, you haven't got boost of speed. Not yet. Okay, let's pull you guys down here so you don't get in the way of the shredder. Let's bring back some wood. Let's tech up. And then we'll work on... Um... How the hell did his hero die? I guess he got a bit suicidal. Um, we'll start working on uh, the amazing arcane sanctums. That's definitely going to be needed. Are we going to get ganked yet? I'm just keeping an eye out for that. Make sure we aren't. See if I can nick the item, maybe. Ah, crappy item. So I'll pass it over. Stormbolt on that guy would be lovely. So I've given the slippers of agility to the Priestess of the Poon. Shouldn't really get too distracted here, but then again, we've got a large arm. Oh, wow, that's a dead Archmage. Ah! You are in the wrong place at the wrong time. I feel like since he's got so many Huntresses, we should try and push, because that is a stupid amount of Huntresses. I'll actually, I'll get my hero from um, where my Mount King is currently positioned. Because it's closer. Nagasi, bitch! Yes, you do. Now, is it possible to get to this shop? Oh, hello. Should go on the hero, I suppose. Bit the old hero. Although the fiends are probably a better choice, but I'll just put some pressure on the hero nonetheless. And he's kind of blocked in as well, so if he tries to run away, yeah, it's not good. Yikes, those huntresses are doing a lovely job. Good job there, Blue. <sighs> Nicely done. And we'll get ourselves barracks as well after this, because it's going to help my griffins for later on. Ugh, can I get there without getting mana burnt? Probably not. Send in the hunts. Send those in first. Oh my goodness. Purple's getting kind of wrecked. I guess he can hold his own, though. Yeah, okay. He has got towers, so if he micros it properly, and this is like saying if he might. Oi, are we just going to let this expansion go? I know yellow wants to go, blue wants to attack that, but we can't really. Now pink's doing that shot. Shouldn't really. You should either teleport to that or go and be aggressive to compensate for basically someone getting screwed. Let's get Santa's little elves. Blacksmith, Lum, yeah, Barracks, there you go, that's getting built. Soon I'll be able to get myself some Griffins, but since I haven't got an expansion, I'll just get some subtle Griffins. Subtle ones, nothing too major. Alright, Pink's now going to get himself killed, so that was um, a bad choice from him, where he could have been way more protective towards that guy. Do you think I could just actually kill this hero purely with Naga Sea Bitch and Stormbolts? It looks like it. Jesus, that's pretty powerful stuff. <laughs> Any more bolt procs? Um, well, bash procs. Okay, so we got that. We're going to get Animal War training. He's saying GG. There's no expansion there. I'd love to see if I can sneak into there. Purple's still alive, just about. Come on, Mr. and Mrs. Claws are on, are on the hunt. And we'll upgrade our Gwiffins. Oh, oh, I see him, but I also see Orange's entire army, so no thanks. And someone's teleporting in to deal with that, apparently. What the f That's a slight over-exaggeration. Uh, let's go happy on the um, upgrades as well. Some strong casters and some Gwiffins. And just keep on waltzing around. I can get my boots of speed maybe now. Blue 
has done a really good job here because he's gone Huntresses and in this rare occasion of rare occasions, it's actually worked. Mass Huntresses. That doesn't often actually work in 4 versus 4 RT. But we are witnessing a Christmas miracle right now. Spellbreaker spots the sneaky acolyte. Good job there. Uh, let's rally towards my hero, I suppose, at this point. But I'm a bit cautious of getting caught by a bunch of fiends or something. Blue definitely has it in for Yellow's main base. And I guess we can see uh, Dragon Hawks or Griffins being built as well, potentially. I've got a lot of wood, so that's going to definitely go to allies. I should probably try to get myself an expansion whilst this is going on. Pink's not taking that, and that's the only open one available. Makes it a bit awkward. Now they're teleporting down here. Is this an over-exaggerated teleport? It might be, especially if I can bring down a hero. Mm, probably not, actually. Looks like a runaway job. Good idea, Blue. Run away from that shit, definitely. Back, back, back. The pink out. Nope, let's go in. Although, actually, it can nuke the hero, at least. But it might be a little bit too late. Yeah, I can actually force that hero down. This is really effective. Like, stupidly effective. I'm running away with you. Finish off Mr. Crypt. And then bugger off with the rest of this. Because I ain't going to be much effective. Shall we just try and kill the Archmage as well? No, nope. let's just get a footman and then run away. Probably going to get death coiled to death as well. Uh, um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And he's going to kill a couple of bugs. Yay. Okay, that's funny. Now I'm going to abuse Purple Shot. Although I think I regret teleporting here because I can't fucking get out now. Brilliant building placement there from fucking... What? Brilliant. Good job there, Purple. Good job. Ugh. No. It's coming along quite nicely. Actually, maybe I can get Santa and Lightning Orb. Oh no, he hasn't even got tier 3. What are you like, eh? What are you like? Wait till you see me in action. I'll do what I take. The power of my town is under siege. Yeah, that expansion ain't gonna last. So green's gonna be going west. Oh, that's a lot of raiders. I see, he spent all of that time finally building up to that. Let's see if we can get inside of our Christmas Zeppelin. And drop the bomb. Let's get some more upgrades. Heck, I'll even get Magic Sentry right now. Because I can. Where's that? Oh, there he is. There's that Christmas griffin. <laughs> now, do I want to get caught out by a bunch of fiends? He's trying to be sneaky. And creep this. Where's the crypt fiends, though? Some more Christmas experience. Oh, he bought the good items. Cheeky sad. Shit. Christmas fiends. Fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck, 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 You will pay for building fiends that are annoying to my army. Oh, hello there. Level 1 paladin just waltzing on by. Don't mind if he does. As you wish. Is someone injured? 
Oh, cheeky, cheeky fiend now. What happened to my, um, did they not join the party? Slow is so good. Ain't you so good there, Mr. Slow. <laughs> See you later, fiend. That's a pretty upgraded fiend. Okay. We're pretty good to go and attack again, since we got freaking the uh, thing there. I need to get a teleport. I definitely need to get a teleport. Get a TP. Before I do anything else and sacrifice myself. There we go. He's got some nice items on him, actually. I wonder if these have been passed on to him. I don't remember picking up a belt of giant strength. Plus 23 damage on my Mountain King. Imagine that with the Bash Prox. Okay, let's try and secure an expansion. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a few. Go for it. Go for broke. Go on that Archmage as well. Zoom in there so I can get the fucker. Well, one of them's already teleporting, so that's good for us. Let's put on the inner fire and the priests. Try and get some Sork slow, my elves. Oh, actually, no, I can't do the polymorphs. But this looks good for us. Oh my goodness, in comes Ray Ray's bears. Secret center. Wow. Let's go heavy on the main base, because they've all just used teleport. <laughs> Looks like they're having some problems uh, in house. Look how long this slow lasts as well on these units. It really makes them useless. So we've got lots of inner fire, and that's going to go beautifully on these bears. Good job with the roar there, Blue. He's done a fantastic job. Game uh, player of the match goes to Blue. Level 5, Mr. Claws. Let's see how quickly we can bring down Paladin, although he's just going to Divine Shield. But. You never know. Ah, uh, well, never mind. Worst team ever. I want to bring down the, the Paladin. That defines... Oh, there's some freaking nasty goblins for me to kill. These aren't goblins, but I'm, we're going to treat them as such, because... Oh, wow. My uh, casters do not like this. Also, stop freaking stealing my mana. I don't appreciate it. Center don't appreciate that. Mountain King. When you're ready, should I say Mr. Claws? Ooh, <laughs> Traditional center voice. And now I can start building crazy because, well, this expansion's underway and my gold has started going up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very nice indeed. Shall we see if we can get a, a Christmas avatar? That would be pretty sweet. All right, enough inner fire. You can start going to a uh, heal mode now. Come on. Let's pull Naga Sea Bitch back. So the Mountain King can soak up the rest of the experience. This is good team play, to be honest. I uh, rarely do I get this in a 4 versus 4 RT, so I appreciate my teammates this game. They made a very special 4 versus 4 RT. Christmas Avatar! The glitch through the mountain. We spy on him. Secret center. Lovely. <laughs> that was very good. Mountain King really was powerful there. And the Naga Sea Bitch just allowed him to be that much more threatening and basically forcing so many teleports. I mean, how much gold did they spend on teleports? I'd love to be able to tell that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this little um, Santa Secrets special, then um, stay tuned for more on the channel. Subscribe, like, and comment, and check out the channel for more, because there will be more today on this fine festive Christmas day. Take care, bye-bye, and have a good one. See you later.